today is Sunday. I feel like pre-planning my outfits. If I'm being honest, uh, the last couple of weeks I've really only cycled through like two different outfits and it doesn't really feel good because I love fall fashion and I just have felt so like, not even uninspired. Just like, I just haven't been doing it. How about that? And so I feel like pre-planning my outfits this week would be a really great idea for me to actually get dressed and have an idea of what I want to wear um, and just at least kind of reignite the fire under my ass. So we're basically just going to be putting together five or six outfits that I can cycle through. This is my first little outfit formula and when I don't know what to wear, you guys know this is my go-to, I put a trench coat on, maybe some jeans and a white t-shirt. And so how I'm going to try to make this kind of like feel more special to me is accessorizing and I have had a few things in my brain that I really want to play around with. Specifically, I found this little like bib collar thing online and I think it would be really cute with a trench coat um, so I'm going to try this I don't know because it's so small I don't know how it's gonna work and then also a little rose clip for my hair I feel like that could be kind of fun with this right and then sequins I found this pair of sequin flats I did already show them to you guys but like let's look again they're from Zara and I just they reminded me um, they Celine has a pair like this and real similar and I grabbed some. So I'm thinking of keeping it more neutral. Maybe like a little pop of color somewhere. Maybe the bag or something. Okay. What do we think? I don't know. I can't see it. You tell me. <laughs> and with the collar, I think I need to button at least like the first couple of buttons. I've been really liking that like silhouette of... Even with like cardigans and like jackets of where you like only button the first couple and then you kind of like kind of only works for pictures I feel like in real life it doesn't stay like this but um the idea is there where it flares out that kind of look but by the way I found this collar on eBay I searched like handmade uh crochet collar I think or like shawl or something they had so many beautiful ones um and then the hair thing is from Amazon I'll link obviously everything that I can down below wait <laughs> Should the collar come out? I don't I do like the collar out. I cannot decide. What do we think? I kind of think like this, to be honest. Like, normally I would say collar out, but anyway. So far, but I definitely need just one little color. Like, I don't need a lot of color. Maybe like this very soft light blue. I kind of always love. That's actually why I grabbed this bag is because I love the idea of like a baby blue, light blue, sky blue, whatever, um, with khaki. And I wear a lot of trench coats. So I'm thinking this and then like a funkier pair of sunglasses. You turn to the side. And personally, I mean, you can just, it's a, like a 360. I am so into this. I'm into the mix of like grandma chic and I think this, and then like, honestly, the claw clip kind of gives grandma chic and I love it. Um, so this is the first one and I'm feeling really great about it, to be honest. Outfit number one, every day of the week I'm going to wear this on. I feel like I can wear this kind of anywhere. I do want to go to Ikea this week. This is kind of a good little Ikea outfit. Or my new thing for like fall, because I have a cider mill right down the road, I'm like, why don't I go in the morning <laughs> instead of just Starbucks or something, cider mill, and get, they have like these cappuccinos there that are really good, so, I don't know. This is an outfit that I feel like I can wear anywhere, but I definitely love trench coats, and it's been raining literally every day. Even when it doesn't say it, it's been raining, so, um, trench coats, obviously that's why I love them too, so, I'll shut up, this is outfit number one. Next up, something I've been really wanting to style lately is one of my favorite knits that I have. Um, it's from Darcy Collection, and it's this gorgeous blue color. I had, I think I got it last year, and I haven't worn it yet this year, and so I'm like, I've been thinking about it. Every time I see someone with like a blue sweater, I'm like, wait, I need to wear that. You know what I mean? And so I'm thinking something, I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to go skirt? Do I want to go pants? I'm not sure. I definitely want a layering moment. But this is what I have so far. I'm somewhat torn on it just because... I don't know, first of all, if I let this loose, that's fine in its own right, but I think I want more prep, like more structure to it, so I'm thinking like more so like that. I found this little thing on eBay, <laughs> it's so cute. Um, it's supposed to obviously look like a little Chanel thing, um, but it's not. I'm kind of loving it for like a little pop of uh, color, red, whatever, and it is also very functional to have something like that there. So I'm thinking as like the base, and then just with my sneakers because I tried ballet flats and I was like, no, you know what? The ballet flats are a little bit too, like I wanted some contrast to like the prep and flirtiness of it. And so I'm thinking sneakers. Otherwise, because it is fall and it's freezing today, it's like 35 right now. And so I'm thinking um, like a jacket and this one jacket that I also really wanted to style in this is this, my future collective one, which I haven't worn yet, but I feel like I definitely need to, you know? Okay, I actually do kind of like that. I never know, like, should I put this on the outside? I think not. 
because you want the jacket to be able to move and stuff. Um, and I just added this little flower thing on. You can put it anywhere. Um, it's one of those clips from Joann's or Michael's or something. I from my first DIY video. I have my cream socks. That would go a little bit better than the stark white, but I think that's fine. This, I feel like I've lately noticed that I have so many, like I've been definitely more into neutrals a lot lately again, um, but I have a lot of tan and like khaki in my closet and um, I'm actually like really happy about it because they all, go, like obviously they all go together, but like it also goes with everything else. So you're going to stick with this one because this just feels right um, and I think I would wear this, so we'll see at least. A combo that I love, love, love literally so much is a collared white or just like any white kind of cute C shirt with track pants. So I'm thinking for a comfier day, I'm gonna put something together like this. Here's the base layer and I was like, okay, what kind of shoe? I'm thinking this because then I can add a brown bag and I think that would add some warmth to this. Otherwise I can stick with black and white and just go with this. And then I also need to still pick like a jacket because I can't only wear this out normal on most days, but I am thinking these. These are like my little Matisse ballet, uh, ballet flats and they're so, they're like some of my favorite. They're really comfortable also. I'm thinking these, yeah, I like these. I'm going to be wearing socks with all these for all of my ballet flats, which I already like to do, but I wore a pair of ballet flats the other day without socks and my feet were freezing. Here's the so far. I'm thinking brown, um, little purse with it. And then I'm kind of thinking a black jacket to stick, just make it easy. And I think I already know which one, so. Okay, this jacket already has a collar, but I wonder if I can like double layer the collars. Okay, hmm. Kind of like the idea of it, except for they're like literally the exact same size. I feel like if the white one was a little bit smaller, it would look so cool layered over top the black one, right? That's like a winner, right? I don't know, I'm thinking so. I feel actually, this is an outfit I don't think I've ever worn together. Well, I've never worn this top in general. It's from Cezanne and the C New York collab, and I love it, which that collab went so fast, but they've had like it back in stock on and off. I also feel like I can wear this anywhere. Like I could wear this to go run errands, to go to lunch, to go to dinner, whatever, and I would feel good like going to the mall even. I don't know, I'm just thinking of random things, but um, this is a good, I think this is a safe option. I really, ever since I had my first pair of track pants within the past like year or two, I've become um, so obsessed with track pants and styling them, especially like kind of dressing them up with like these collar blouses and stuff. Um, and so this is a winner for me. It's like. I severely, severely want just an all black outfit, nice and easy and simple, and I'm buttoning this wrong. This kind of looks a little too dressy for my liking, so now I'm like questioning the ballet flat thing, um, but I, I don't know. Should I do ballet flats or sneaker? Or, no, I don't want to do rain boots because my rain boots are like a navy and I kind of want to keep it all black trying to figure out how to button this so we can just tr we'll just try them on like this definitely has the potential to be too dressy but i don't think it actually is i think i could wear this like i could wear this to the movies if i wanted to i can wear whatever like i mean okay actually the barbie movie opened my eyes to the possibility of this of the movie theater like you can really wear whatever to the movie theater i watch people wear heels and i think that's dedication although although i will forever and always be like a pajama or sweatpant person when i'm at the movies i wouldn't like cuddle up. I do think it opened my eyes like you can literally wear whatever you want wherever you want especially at the Eras movie um last weekend. It's a vibe but also I'm like no this would be like a pop of color and add something but I don't think I really want that. I just don't. I think what I'll do to add like a little bit of interest is texture. Um I think like something like this my big fuzzy bag which I found at Target last year that has become like one of my favorites especially whenever I want to add texture. I think this this I'm feeling like myself, um, and it, this is so comfortable. I know I've like screamed it from the rooftops to you guys so many times, but if you can find like a crinkle skirt, I thrifted this so long ago, and it's just like my favorite skirt. I get so nervous when I wear it, and that, that my dog will jump on me and it will rip because he's been doing that lately. Sunglasses can also maybe be a little bit fun. So we have these, which I do like, or we have these, which I can't see out of, so definitely not a functional option, but like for literally just for this video <laughs> um i could i would pick these if i i just need to change the freaking lenses in them because let me know if any of you can see out of them 
Oh wait, actually, well, my eyes don't look like that through them, but... Okay, transition. Okay. If I wanted to, I could add a belt, but I don't really think I want to do that. Wait, wait, this is kind of cute. Hold on a second. I found this at Target on clearance for like $5. Oh, <laughs> okay, wait. Literally shove it. That's a little bit. Okay, that's it. This is it, and I, I'm excited about this outfit actually. If I were to pick a jacket, I would probably just pick like my black trench coat or like my black pea coat or something to just throw on over it. So I'm just going to leave it here because um, the coat will ruin the outfit, but yeah. Remember these from my last video? I think I want to try to style these for fall. I'm thinking with a blazer. I'm I it's something that is a little bit out of my like normal zone, not comfort like wise, but I just haven't done it before, so I'm thinking maybe that. This is them just plain and I do like that, but I think a t-shirt with a blazer could be fun. I don't know if this will be too bulky, but I really like the idea of it. And so I really wanted to play around with layering, like I've mentioned, and I have to stick to my word. Okay, I don't think I'm loving like this specific combination. What do we think? I know, I don't know. Hold on, let me get shoes. We'll make this like a full thought and then switch it. I don't know if this should be maybe all the way. I feel like that could be fun. I'll be going like full throttle. <laughs> I'm kind of, okay, let's just see as like a vision board this all together. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to like really stare in the mirror for a while, but then it's like, do I like this or am I just like getting used to it? Or do I not like this and is it just because I'm looking at it through a mirror? I'd probably not like it if I were outside of my body and looking at myself. I tried with this, but we are going to, I think I'm going to just like kind of simplify it down with these pants that I, like with something else that I want to wear. Although I really do love this blazer. I know I say that every time I put it on, but it's so good, the shape of it. Something like this with the basket bag and see the square. You know, when you look at things in squares like this, it simplifies it. It's like that part looks good, so maybe all the rest of it would. Um, but I like this. I think that it's very much so picnic summer. I just think like something really basic with these pants would be really good. So I'm going to switch out the shoes and the sweater. I think I literally just said I want to simplify this with the pants. But then I ended up doing the opposite and I just wear my little DIY sweatshirt that I wore to the Ayers movie um, that I made literally the day of. And I think it's actually so cute. I'm really in into it. I added like a little lace here. You didn't see my short or my Instagram um, reel. Just your average brainwashed girl saying on here, you know? So um, that and then I added like a fun pair of shoes because I thought, you know, I kind of liked the idea of mixing colors while I was going for it. I was like, this kind of has a lot going on and I kind of like the idea of that. So I don't know if you were crooked or not, but that'll be fixed soon. I got, I'm getting a new tripod and I just got a new camera, you guys. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, so this is the final look. I think that this is a nice, easy one. I would wear this literally any day of the week to anywhere. Um, hold on, someone is whining to get in here. This is the one who puts the holes in my skirts and stuff, but um, he, I mean, how I can't not. The final look. He doesn't know what to do in front of the camera. Sorry, he's a little bit shy. Um, but, <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I would take this. We could go, I would take him to the park in this um, because these pants are actually really comfortable. And, or I could just like go to the movies again in this, or I could go to the mall. I could go grocery shopping. I could podcast in this. The options are endless, um, but I've been really liking just like having very easy pieces like this sweatshirt in my wardrobe for pairing with like the funkier pieces. Um, I actually have like just a basic one that has nothing on it that's gray and I really even like that where it's like oversized. More so like my version of like a dress with pants because this kind of is almost dress length but it's more comfy to me. So uh, yeah. Oh my. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's a wrap on outfits of the week. I'm so glad we have this planned. Now I don't have to um, think about it at all this week. So thanks for being here and subscribe if you liked this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Bye.